I don't know about you, but I'm terrified of the genetic modification of our food. It seems to me like this is a three-year-old playing with fire. It's just a matter of time before he'll get burned. We now have salmon with a gene from an eel spliced into their genetic code so that they will grow rapidly despite overcrowded conditions. Or how about growing rice with human genes? Can we then be charged for cannibalism for eating sushi? Does anyone have any other bright ideas out there? It's just a matter of time before these freak salmon will be in the wild or the rice begin to wander out of the patties and demand free health care. These are potential disasters of mind-blowing proportions. It's bad enough to have to eat corn that is genetically modified to manufacture its own poison to kill insects, or to have a soulless corporation in charge of the seeds and thus our food supply. Our government has failed in its role to protect us from bad ideas. It has failed because of special interest, with its bribery, because it's money that rules. Our government actually backs GMS, GMO foods as if they had created them to save the world. We must demand 10, or better yet, 20 years independent studies of safety as a minimum requirement for any genetically modified life form to be allowed to be introduced. Is that too much to ask when it could prevent a disaster like the extinction of the human race? The reality is that they're introduced with little or no testing. We have only scratched the surface of figuring out the true mechanisms of life. I say, let's play it safe and use the miracles that we already have. There's mounting evidence that GMO foods are harmful. And if we just use common sense, we would know we've got to take the matches out of their greedy little hands before it's too late. What can you do now to avoid these? Well, you can't go by the label. 20 years ago, the FDA determined, without any evidence, by the way, that GMO foods were no different than regular foods. So labeling wasn't required. But you can eat organic food, which is not allowed to have GMOs. Now, most processed food will contain GMO ingredients. So avoiding processed food that contains corn, soy protein, or cottonseed oil, or foods with added high fructose corn syrup will be GMO. Organic animal foods are also important because conventional animals that are fed in confinement feeding operations will likely be fed GMO crops. If you live in California, in November of 2012, you can vote for the passage of the California Right to Know. That's the Genetically Engineered Foods Ballot Initiative. Now, in 50 other countries like Russia, China, Japan, and the European Union, members require, uh, European Union members require the labeling of GMO foods. When the labeling happened in those countries, millions of people rejected these foods. This led to an increase in the purchase of organic foods and was a shot in the arm for sustainable agriculture. If a labeling law would pass in the United States, then companies like Monsanto, Dow, Walmart, ConAgra, and Kellogg's would not be able to contaminate the population with GMOs without their consent. Please get out and vote and be sure to educate your friends about this issue. This is Dr. G. Thanks for watching.